1956, Werner Forsman shared the Nobel Prize in Medicine for developing heart catheterization. Yeah. Yep. What experiment did he do, Tier? He actually catheterized himself. Ah, uh, yeah. I actually read a book on this, Lou. It's called The Man Who Touched His Own Heart, and it talks about this. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's actually very, very impressive. Yeah, in 1929, he hypothesized that a catheter could be inserted directly into the heart. Yeah. To like deliver drugs or like contrast for imaging. Exactly. Measure yep. blood pressure directly. Yeah. But people at the time thought this might actually kill you. Kill so no you, one, yes. No one dared to do it. This was 1929. Mm -hmm. So he, the, here's the story. You probably know this, but he convinced the OR scrub nurse, Gerda Ditson, to assist him. Yeah. Uh, she agreed to assist, but only if he performed the catheterization on her, uh -huh. not on himself, uh -huh. which she agreed to, but then he tricked her. Yeah. And strapped her to the <laughs> operating bed <laughs> and pretended to anesthetize her arm, but yeah. he actually anesthetized his own arm and then inserted a catheter into the vein in his elbow. Yeah. But of course, he didn't have a cardiac catheter at the time, a heart catheter, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what catheter he did. did he use? Oh, man. Did he use a urinary catheter? He did. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He used a urinary catheter. It's just absolutely insane. Like, these are these guys are nuts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. When he got it yeah. in, he released yeah. the uh, the scrub nurse and asked her to call the x-ray department. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. He was twice dismissed from his university hospital for doing this. I think when he won the Nobel Prize, he was like like a country doctor. He was a town doctor. He was, he even, yes. Yeah. 